Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Today I wanted to talk about avocado trees and whether you should put them in containers or not um, after it gets a certain size. So let's say after um, it's in a 15 gallon or maybe a 20 gallon, should you <clears throat> plant those in the ground or should you transplant in these 24 inch containers? Now, last week I was actually thinking about this, whether this was a good idea not or, or not. As you know, if you watched my prior videos, I planted my lamb hot has, which is on the left right here, and my reed and my nabal on the far right. Planted those and uh, transplanted those into 24 inch boxes from 15 gallon containers. And I also transplanted this Pinkerton right in here from a 15 gallon to this larger uh, tub, which is um, quite big. And then I put this bacon avocado, this big bacon avocado from a 15 gallon to a 24 inch box. And also I put this gem avocado I bought from a five gallon to just this 24 inch box. And I've been kind of thinking whether it was a mistake of mine <clears throat> to put these in boxes or larger containers from the 15 gallon. And for this bacon avocado, I definitely made a mistake. I mean, this, uh, you know, my avocado grove in the backyard is on the hillside. It is going to be so, very difficult transplanting this um, with this box in the soil all the way to a hillside backyard. Um, and also, my la last avocado on this bacon avocado tree fell. So, um, you know, if I had to do it all over again, I would have transplanted this uh, bacon avocado from a 15 gallon straight to the to the ground. I think it probably would have kept more of its fruit. Uh, would have grown even taller than it is now and just uh, I think it would have done much better same with this Pinkerton uh, from the 15 gallon I should have just transplanted it into the ground uh, because trying to transplant this into the ground now <clears throat> it's, good, it's much more difficult I think it would uh, the Pinkerton uh, I think it's still too big of a tree to do well in containers and um, um, I think I made a mistake there too. I, I should have just transplanted that to the ground. I think it would have uh, kept more of its fruit. <clears throat> now last week, uh, one of the fruits dropped and two of them I just plucked off the, the vine because <clears throat> looking at the vine, it would have dropped anyways. So to conserve as much energy on the tree, uh, just took two of them off and one of them just dropped on its own. So I think this Pinkerton would have done much better if I just transplant from the 15 gallon to the to the ground instead of this container. <clears throat> now this lamb has two, I mean, I have two, I have uh, two conflicting issues. One is I love how it looks, these avocado trees aesthetically. I think it's so pleasing to my eyes and I love how it looks. And you know, if it's planted in my backyard, grove I'm never gonna really look at it uh, unless I'm watering it but these trees I look I come out and look come to my courtyard every day and I look at these trees and look at the love lovely avocados growing on it um, so you know it's whether I want these aesthetically in these boxes or whether I want fruit production because I love avocados I eat avocados almost every single day so fruit production is very important to me. So um, I have to weigh those interests. Weigh those interests. Um, aesthetics, you know, by just having it in the box, it looks beautiful. Or fruit production. Now having it in these boxes, I do believe I'm still going to be able to maintain and grow some fruit. It's not going to be as good as if I plant it in the ground. I think it just flourish so much better. But for this lamb has, I think I made a mistake. I, I think I should have transplanted this lamb has from the 15 gallon instead of this 24 inch box to should have transplanted to the ground. This lamb has is going to get way too big. And, um, you know, I, I think these boxes, they are naturally do stunt the growth of these avocado trees because 
and you know the roots can't spread out as much in these boxes so naturally i think these boxes naturally would stunt the the trees however <clears throat> if the fruit production is important to me I, I think i made a huge mistake on even this lamb has which is it's a smaller tree than the has but it still gets pretty big now this reed it gets 15 about 15 feet i think i don't know i'm gonna still try to keep this reed in this box just aesthetics uh, i, I want a couple a few of these boxes with trees so i could look look at it may not produce uh as much as my reed i'm gonna plant down down in the grove but at least i could come out and look at it every day and just aesthetically man this is a gorgeous tree um this nabal i think i made another mistake i should have just transplanted this nabal from the 15 gallon to the ground uh, 20 20 gallon containers um what about these well this has is definitely not going in the box i'm gonna Tran, uh, transplant to the ground um, so is this uh, Jan Boyce once it gets bigger but this is my weakest tree I mean man I'm so disappointed I mean I bought this tree half dead but this Jan Boyce man it just does not grow very well but I mean I'm gonna keep this in container for a while until it gets a good enough size but it has a long ways to go <clears throat> now here's another tree that I might actually keep in a 24 inch box uh, after it outgrows this 20 gallon container. And this is my holiday. Now it's getting tall. This, this holiday is getting very tall. So this is another one that aesthetically, if I want a few avocado trees in my courtyard here, I might transplant this in a box. Um, it may limit the fruit production, but still I think it's just a pretty tree. Um, it's growing really well now here are some other avocado trees I have in these uh, 15 gallon and 20 gallon containers and this is my fourth day look how big the fourth day is getting oh my gosh so I am definitely not going to put this uh, fourth day in a box I'm gonna transplant directly to my grove this reed as well I'm gonna probably transplant this reed to the ground as well and also this uh, Hass avocado this is definitely going to the ground and my mystery avocado over there which is growing really big that is definitely going to the ground too so I've kind of learned my mistakes I'm gonna limit the number of avocado trees I actually put in these 24 inch boxes I mean they look great but um, I, I really do want fruit production as well now this gem avocado, I am thinking about keeping this in the box. I mean, it gets about, I believe, 15 feet or so. So I'm hoping this box, it will still have good enough fruit production. I just think this tree is so beautiful that although I would probably get better fruit production if I planted it in the ground, I think this one, you know, I just want to look at it, you know, aesthetically, I think it's very pleasing to my eyes and I just want to, and I, I do still think that in this box, it's still going to be able to grow and maintain some, um, some good uh, gem avocados. So I might not get the same production as in the ground, but I think this one I'm going to keep in this box, hopefully permanently, because I have another gem avocado, which I will be planting that in the ground. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you like this channel, if you like this video, please press the like and subscribe button. Thank you.